Hello Grade 11! Welcome to our Physical Science class. For today's lesson, we are going to have an experiment first. Helping me today are my two co-teachers. This is Sir Bernard Gomez, your Hello. teacher in mathematics, and Ma'am Mary Jane Manderama in economics. So for this experiment, we will be needing the following materials. First, we have water. Next is sugar. We will also be needing kerosene, um, vinegar, a cooking oil, gasoline, a stirring sticks, and containers. So, you may also use disposable cup or any clear plastic bottles available for the container. The direction is very simple. First, we just have to mix each substance in every setup. So we have different setups. Second is to steer the mixture and observe the miscibility and solubility of the substances. Okay, sir, now that you have mentioned miscibility and solubility, what is the definition of miscibility and solubility? Okay, miscibility refers to the ability of liquid substances to mix. I mean, two liquids are being mixed. Either it is miscible or immiscible. Solubility refers to the ability of solid substances to be dissolved in liquids, soluble or insoluble. In this experiment, we are going to observe whether the substances mixed are miscible or immiscible, soluble or insoluble. Did you get it? Are you ready, guys? Let's do it! Yes. Setup number one, we have to mix water and cooking oil. Water and the cooking oil. For setup number two, water and sugar. Take out my sir. Water and sugar. This is the water and kung ano lang pinch ng sugar. And I'll do setup number three. Water and vinegar. So kung ako nang test tube, lagay tayo ng water. Tapos is the vinegar. And then. Anyway, you can also do this activity at home. Yes, make sure that you are away from any source of fire since you will be using combustible substances like kerosene and gasoline. Correct. Also guys, remember that you should not taste any of the chemical compounds. And better perform this activity under the supervision of your parents. Okay, we're done steering. Uh, Setup number one, water and cooking oil. Missable or invisible? Show it to the camera. Missable or invisible? Invisible. Invisible. How about water and sugar? Soluble or insoluble? Sir, for the water and sugar, sugar is dissolved in water. Therefore, the compound is soluble. Very good. Now, for my setup, vinegar and water, it is miscible. For setup number four, water and gasoline. Setup number five, cooking oil and kerosene. And mine is cooking oil and sugar. Oil and vinegar. 
vinegar. So, cooking oil and vinegar. So, fit at number 8. Cooking oil and gasoline. Cooking oil and gasoline. And set up number 9. Kerosene and sugar. So, Anyway, I'm, I'm very thankful na very supportive ang dalawa kong co-teachers, ano? Okay, I'm done. What is that? Cooking oil and vinegar. Cooking oil and vinegar. So, visible or invisible? This is? Invisible. Invisible. So, sorry for set up number 8. This one is kerosene plus cooking oil. This compound, or this mixture is visible. Gasoline and cooking oil, rather. Gasoline? And cooking oil. Cook, uh, yes, cooking oil and gasoline. So it is miscible. And for my setup, we have kerosene and sugar. Insoluble. Look. Insoluble. Pwede niyo sundan yung activities na nasa module na meron kayo ngayong linggo para at matest niyo ang properties na meron ang non-polar molecules at ang polar molecules. So, ayun. For sugar and gasoline, this one, they are insoluble. Yes, insoluble. And for the last setup, for tincture, I have here vinegar and gasoline. As you can see, the mixture is invisible. And tapos tayo sa ating experiment para dun sa mga gumagawa ng experiment sa kanilang bahay. I hope nag enjoy kayo kasi nag enjoy kami sa ginagawa namin. Um, ano yung natutunan niyo sa experiment natin ngayon, sir? Aha. We have learned in this experiment that there are substances, say uh, liquid, which can be uh, mixed with other liquid. We call the, uh, those liquids miscible. And also, there are substances like solids that can be dissolved in liquids and those are solubles. Very solubles. Good. So, yeah.